Hi everybody, welcome to another Dynamic CCTV video. Today we're going to be looking at the temperature screening firmware for the IDS recorders. Basically, just before we get started, I would suggest that before you, you do anything with these, please go to the Hikvision UK portal. If we go to the temperature screening page there, basically download any of the firmwares that you need to get for your cameras and your recorders. And also for any special versions of IBS you may require. Down those there uh, before you start, make sure everything's up to date. That way you're going to continue on with the latest versions of everything. So, that said, let's get on and have a brief look at the IDS temperature screening solution. Okay, so at the back end of the recorder, what we've got here is an IDS 7732X model. This firmware version 422110 for the temperature screening works on any face detection B models 96F or a 77X or a 96X. Okay, so that's the version there, 4 110 with build 200-330. Okay, so pretty much, this, nothing much has changed in regards to the standard usage of the recorder. What we will see different here is if we go to Smart Analysis and Smart Event Settings, this is where we set up our Smart Events now. If we go into Facial Recognition here, what we've got is Standard Face Capture, so whenever the recorder sees, actually captures a face, now we've got the option for no mask linkage and um, if the user or the, the person on the video hasn't got a mask on we can now trigger um, this linkage standard linkage audible warning and notify surveillance center we've got the abnormal temperature linkage obviously if that person is then showing a temperature over say 37.5 degrees we can have the standard linkage applied to that too especially new in this is the voice linkage this was broadcast from the recorder itself through the hdmi out and this will broadcast a voice with either a mask, the person, this person's not wearing a mask, uh, the temperature's normal if you want that, or more importantly, the temperature abnormal. Now, this will give someone who's got the recorder in front of them, this will give them an audible warning. Okay, so based off the, the other, the more important sort of face comparison side of things, this is where you would use the, the special front end for this recorder. This is where you would set this up. Again, what you can see here, we've already set something up based on a test library. In there, we've got just our standard test uh, settings. The standard linkage applies to all of those as it would do on the normal firmware. What we've got here, again, is no mask linkage, a normal temperature linkage, and the voice linkage. So this is based on when we get a face comparison, or alternatively, when a stranger appears um, under this stranger uh, setup. So again, we've got the voice linkage set up there. We're not using the mask detection because we don't use that in the UK currently, but if your company does have some kind of mask policy, by all means, turn that on and it will alert you and we'll, we'll demo that just now. So what we're going to do now, um, we'll, we'll flick off this and have a look at the basic setups and how it acts in action. Okay, so now we're going to look at the front end of the recorder. So what we've got here is the two channels from our camera. We've got the optical side and the thermal side. Up here, we've, we've got our target detection turned on. So what we're going to do now is go through the field of view get it to trigger and see how it shows up. So first off, there we have it there, a standard detection. As you can see there, we've, we've overlaid on the face, that's coming direct from the camera, but that's 36 degrees Celsius. Everything's okay. The standard face detection's kicked in as normal, so we've got a similarity of 92%. The new thing is we've got this tab up here saying normal. So what we'll do now, we'll have a look at what happens when we trigger it with an abnormal event using the tried and tested cup on the head technique. Abnormal temperature. Abnormal temperature. So as you can see there, we've got the abnormal temperature come through, drawing the box over my face again, but this time it's saying 46 degrees Celsius, and it was also giving us the voice alert direct from the recorder through our HDMI monitor. So that's what happens when we get an abnormal temperature and a normal temperature. What we do now is look at how we can play them back and see what happens from our searches. Okay, so the easiest way to play back any event is from our sidebar here. As it's detected the event, obviously it's showing it up, we get to play it back from there direct. As you can see, showing us our usual info, and there we go with the event playing there. So that's fine and all well and good if it's still existing on the sidebar. If you want to then go back and search for anything a little bit further, we need to do that through our files. So we'll show that next. Okay, so what we're going to look at now is just how to recall any of the events that we've popped up. There's two ways of doing that in this version of the firmware. What we can do is we can go to just standard file management, go to our video and search by event. In the event, we just want to go to a standard temperature detection. What this is going to do, this is just going to do a search for everything that's triggered the temperature alarm. 
So that'll show us there if we just bring it this view. So you can see, there's me coming through with the various T on the head technique. So there's just a way of playing back the video on any temperature measure. They said it will, that will only show when it's been tripped. That's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it is doing it through smart analysis search. If we go to search by appearance, and on there, if we select, we can do with a mask if we wanted to. Well, here we can do a temperature. In there, if we change that to abnormal, obviously we've got normal as well, but we're going to choose abnormal. If you want to, you can set a specific temperature range. We, we're not going to do that now because there's no point currently because obviously this is, if we set it to abnormal, it's anyone who's triggered the alarm, which is a more appropriate search. So we'll just do another search there. And as you can see there, this is going through the standard smart search technique where it will add a few more bits of information. Obviously no mask, no facial expression, you're right there. And so on. There's all the alarm events have gone off. So that's how you play these events back. What we'll do now is have a quick look back here and go down to the screen in front end and show you basically a few bits and bobs from there. Okay, so now we've looked at the standard uh, front end for that. We're going to now look down at the screen in front end. Here you'll see a little bit different. The new options we've got up here are total number of people it's found, abnormal temperatures of those people, people not wearing a mask, and normal temperatures. These are the new features. So this front end basically collects all the people coming in, as you would do normally, and just displays them in a different manner. The benefit of this front end is you can put a few filters on, so if you only want to show people with fever or people running at abnormal temperature, then it will show there. So what we're going to do now is just put a couple of events in there so we can see what it looks like. Okay, so there's a standard one. And there we go, there's a, a temperature based one. Okay, so what we've got there, as and when people come through there, you'll see these, these will pop up. You see down on this side, it's matched me as it does normally, but you can see an abnormal temperature there. On this screen, the benefit of this screen is you can then filter out results as you see fit. So if you go to the settings tab at the top, so we've got successful face comparison, failed face comparison, and stranger alarm. So on that, you can display them all, only show no masks, only show um, abnormal temperatures, or not show any of them at all. So that applies for these different events here. One thing of note on this screen, as I said earlier in the video, um, currently wearing a mask isn't compulsory in the UK. By default, this will be turned on. So if we turn that on, I've turned it off for the purpose of this video, but I'll turn it back on here and show you. So if we go down here, ticking this turns it off across the whole recorder. It's the only place it can be done currently. So if we if we tick that, click OK. If we go and have another look at now, get another detection. As you can see there now, it's analysed that and we've come through this time as yellow detection, not a green, and it's obviously saying no mask. So that's all well and good if your company uh, you are setting this up for requires masks. But well, for me, personally, I'd rather see it green if it's okay and yellow if it's uh, abnormal. So what we can do, as I said before, go down here, if you just turn that off, click apply, and we do one more detection. As you can see there, it's turned it off across the board and now we've got full green. That's one good way of doing it, so it makes the red stand out a little bit more. But that's, that's sort of my opinion, it's up to you whether you do yours. So that's a brief look at the temperature screen and firmware for the IDS range of recorders. As always, if there's any questions, feel free to give us an email or give us a call here at Dynamic CCTV. And we'll look forward to speaking to you in our next video.